We began this project two months ago. In that time, we've watched as the nutrients locked up in plant and animal remains have been reused by other organisms. Chickens, rats, fruits have become insects, fungi, bacteria. The true power of decay is this ability to reduce complex things right back to the most basic building blocks of life. And in the garden, there's an important experiment that will hopefully demonstrate this process in graphic detail. How nature recycles individual atoms. For weeks now, George has been feeding marigold and radish seedlings on a special liquid compost made from plants grown using chemically labelled nitrogen atoms. We want to see if it's possible to track individual nitrogen atoms as they're transferred from a dead mustard plant into new living plants. The results have arrived and they're amazingly clear. Each one of these dots shows where we found traces of the labelled nitrogen from the mustard plant in our marigold leaf. White areas show where it's concentrated. In the marigold leaf and in the radish. It proves beyond doubt that individual atoms from dead things get reused by the living. This is the first time the cycle of life has been shown like this. It couldn't be clearer and it's what we were hoping to see. As this plant experiment so dramatically demonstrates, what we have witnessed in the box is a process of renewal. For George, Claire and Patrick, the past two months have been a fascinating journey into a world that most of us tend to ignore, but which is vital to our life on Earth. It has been a great experience to be involved with this uh, experiment because it's, it's probably the first time it's been done on a scale this big to actually have an entire kitchen and garden area with a food for a family of four that just simply rots over time. It's been a real eye on that. I'm a lab scientist, so I do things completely away from real life. And this has been a really great opportunity to actually do things and see what happens in reality. For me, before I witnessed the box, my sort of perception of these cycles was maybe a yearly cycle or a seasonal cycle. Actually, these cycles seem to be a lot quicker. It's just a few, few days or weeks, and we've seen a, a complete cycle occurring. The decay that we try to avoid in our everyday lives is a vital part of all life on Earth. And that life doesn't stop with death. Anything that's alive will eventually die, and that has to be returned into the great cycle, which leads from death to life to death to life and so on. This box has shown that life is an ever-repeating cycle. Every atom inside every one of us was once a part of something else, and every atom will eventually be reused. It's happened millions of times before, and it'll happen millions of times again.